Hey guys, it's Elliot, co-founder of Empirical360, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about segmenting your campaigns by device in Google Ads. This is one of my favorite ways to maximize your budget inside your Google Ads account. So let's first talk about segmentation, what it is and why it's so important. I can't tell you how many Google Ads accounts I've audited and looked at and they do not do any kind of segmentation at all. And as a result, they spend a lot of money unnecessarily and, and pretty much throw it away. So let's first talk about the concept of segmentation. So what is segmentation? And this is just a definition right off of Google. It is division into separate parts or sections. So that's, that's great, why do we care? So the reason we care is segmentation gives us the ability to view the different parts of a campaign and then we can optimize those parts as they're not performing or performing. So here's a real world example of segmentation and why it can be so effective, especially when you're working with a limited Google Ads budget or you're just trying to spend your budget more effectively. So let's say you decide you want to invest some money and you have $500. So you go to the bank and you give them you know, your investment and then they spit out $1,500. So that's great, you made $1,000 on your money, but could you have done better? There's really no way to know because the bank is in charge of it. It's a black box operation and you really don't know what happened. But if you could look inside and see what they did, then maybe you could do some optimization. So let's take a further look at this investment scenario. Let's say that you invested 300 of your dollars into Apple stock, you got a 16% return on your investment, you invested $100 of your money into Amazon, got a 50% return on investment, and you invested $100 into Netflix and you got 900% return on your investment. So let's break these two scenarios down. So the first investment scenario, it was a black box operation. You put all of your money into the bank and they spat out $1,500 and you don't really know the allocation or what happened. Scenario number two, let's say you invest wisely and you put all of your money in a Netflix, which yielded a 900% return on investment. That would take your $1,500 earnings and bump it up to $5,000. So that's a much better ROI. But you know, it may seem too good to be true, especially in the stock market, but in AdWords, you can really, really accurately allocate your budget. So I'm gonna show you an exact example of this in an AdWords account. So here we have an AdWords account of a health insurance company. Um, and obviously, you know, they spend a decent amount of money here. And I'm gonna show you each of these devices. We have desktop, mobile, and tablet. And you can see the associated spend we have on each of these devices and then the performance. And these are leads that we're talking about here. So you can see that mobile is far outperforming the other two devices. It's at an $11 lead versus a $31 lead and a $39 lead. And so you can see exactly what we did here is we allocated all of our budget, all of the possible budget, to mobile first. We spent $83,000 on mobile. Then we spent the rest of it on desktop and then a little bit on tablet. So you're probably wondering why didn't we spend all of the money on mobile? They just needed more volume and so we had to break into the other devices. But if we could, we would spend it all on mobile. So that's a real world example of how effective it can be to allocate your budget to the best performing devices first and then use the other ones later. Um, otherwise, their lead cost would be significantly higher if we did not do it this way. So let me show you now how to actually allocate your budget only to mobile phones or desktops or you know tablets. So this is the campaign view inside of Google Ads. Um, all you do is you navigate down here to the Devices tab, and it will be broken up into mobile phones, computers, and tablets. So let's say I want to exclude all of the traffic to computers and tablets. We typically do it this way because computers and tablets somewhat perform the same. There's no ability to call from these devices. So that's why we separate them this way. So the way I would uh, cancel the traffic out from computers is I click here on the bid adjustment column. I select decrease and I enter in 100%. So this takes your bid from $10 right here down to $0. And I save that. And then I do the same for tablet. Decrease by 100% and I hit save. And this actually is one of our mobile campaigns in our own account and you can see here that there is zero clicks for these two devices and all of the traffic went to mobile. So that's how you segment your campaigns by device. I hope it helps and I'll see you in the next video.